What do you think you've done really well at in the last two weeks with the skills portfolio? Um, more of the editing side. The editing side. Yeah. I think that's your strength of yours. And directing people. Okay, so let's talk about the editing. I agree. That was one of the points I just put. In all of your videos, even from the first one, and particularly in the Batman interrogation scene, I think that your edits are really smooth. Yeah? So the, you, the way that you've edit all your clips together then I like to call it smooth because it's not harsh you know sometimes when you watch things you can clearly see that you've cut there you've cut there mm. you're not adding in stupid transitions or just putting transitions for the sake of it and now having to watch your videos I can see why it's taking you longer in the post-production stage because it has been taking you a while hasn't it but it's worth it because the, what you're actually achieving is really, really high results. So I think your editing is, is definitely a strength. I completely agree. The other one you mentioned? Um, directing people. Okay, so why do you think you're good at that? Um, so say like if, like behind the scenes, behind the editing, like I can tell, like, you know when David, um, in one of the scenes when it was close, no, it, it was tilted, yep. I told him to act crazy because obviously, um, because I watched the video of the Batman interrogation scene as he looked kind of crazy in the way the Joker looked crazy, so I wanted him to look crazy. Good. And you told me that in your evaluation as well, because yeah. when I just read it, you've mentioned that specific point, okay? That leads me on to things that we need to improve, yeah. because even your evaluation, in one paragraph, you have justified everything you just said to me about um, directing you gave that specific example so when you've just recalled it I'm nodding because I've read it so I know that that is exactly what happened because that's what you what you wrote about but what you're not doing is using that level of detail for everything okay so even before I read your evaluation I know there's no way you're going to be able to fully reflect in two paragraphs yeah. okay now some students can write really precisely so it is like make the point, give an example, move on, okay? But what most of your evaluations are is merely just describing what it was that I asked you to do and how you went about doing it. And sometimes it's like you jump between, or well, he's given the task and then you move on to the outcome and you've missed out the process. Or on other occasions, you spoke loads about the process and not much about the outcome, okay? You need to make sure that when you're evaluating, you pull every single part of it to pieces, okay? so. If when you're evaluating the outcome, you look at some strengths and you look at some areas of improvement, okay? But you are really specific. So, for example, let's play this. Tell me what is needs to be improved with this clip. What that the starting thing? Yeah. So let's go back. Oh, I should have put when he was walking instead of stopping. Good. I can see him standing at the door. Yeah. Clearly someone's gone, take, and he starts walking. So what do you need to do? I need to cut that out. Yeah. That few seconds off. Okay. So I can see that when I've watched your edit, okay, when I read your evaluation, you don't mention that, okay? Mm. Now having this conversation with you, you've recognised that clearly there's an issue in post-production then and that needed to cut in at the beginning, didn't it? Mm -hmm. But you need to tell me in your evaluation that you understand that, yeah. okay? Because this is where you're showing me your evaluative skills and your reflective skills to be able to say, okay, there's a mistake there, but I've identified it and I know what I need to do to improve, mm. okay? You need to invest more time in, in, in your evaluative writing yeah. because as your practice, practical skills are gonna get better, okay? If you leave your evaluative skills behind, your grade's gonna reflect it, mm. okay? And we don't want you to, it to become one of those situations where you're working towards merit and distinctions in your practical work, but your evaluative work is still at pass level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah. So what we really need is more whys. So when you're evaluating, constantly think why. Mm -hmm. So this is the outcome, why? Well, maybe you used the wrong location, maybe your time management was poor, maybe your group dynamics weren't good, maybe you didn't do a rough edit and get peer feedback. Okay, so you constantly need to be thinking why has the outcome been good or why is it needing to be improved and give me those specific examples. So hold on to your example of the director and telling them about the audio and the sound and looking more aggressive because that is the type of example that's going to help you walk to work towards the higher grades. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Another point is 
using words like decent, okay, doesn't tell me much, okay? It's like using the word nice. Hmm, great, okay? What does decent mean, okay? So describing your product as decent, okay, is not the type of reflective vocabulary that we need to be using. You need to be thinking about and justifying the outcomes and, and the process, okay? Um, so I think, considering you've never done media before, you should be really, really impressed with your product. So even if we go from the early experiments down to the Batman interrogation scene and the Foley sound, I think you're definitely showing a natural ability to pick up different techniques, yeah? Because I know with the like Premiere Pro, you only asked me a few things, then you were just off, and if you didn't um, know something, I'd look around and you was researching it yourself, which is exactly what you need to do, because you're gonna learn better by doing that. So practically, keep up the hard work, and I'd like to see you coming to me and saying, I'm gonna borrow a camera, I'm gonna go out and experiment with this. Yeah, I wanna borrow a camera overnight because I'm gonna go and take some photos. Because the more you do on your own, the, the more you're gonna improve your skills. Well done for coming in your days off to finish your edits off. Yeah. And minus that glitch in the Batman interrogation scene at the beginning, that outcomes are showing that you're putting in that effort time, so extra effort and time, so well done. The area I need you to improve on is your evaluations, yeah. okay? So if you were to set yourself a target on what you're gonna do differently next time, what would it be? Uh, put more time in my evaluation, because that's my weakness at the moment. And I work more faster because that's like near to my weakness as well for like um, for the editing thing because I like to work with perfection yeah and sometimes not everything can be perfect so that's why I get more frustrated and that's I, that's why I just leave it so and also if you was taking if you managed to work more efficiently in your editing mm -hmm. you then wouldn't have to come in on your days off to finish the edit you could invest more time in your evaluations yeah, yeah? what we could do is for your next evaluation we could have a go at recording it as a vlog so you would sit in front of a camera and you would just talk about the process okay because when I talk to you now you are being reflective you know what you need to improve you can offer me examples so maybe it's the writing is the bit that's getting in the way so we could have a go at doing a vlog and see whether that makes a difference but largely I think it's down to effort and the fact that you're just not putting in the time and effort into your evaluations in the same way that you are putting the time and effort into your practical skills. Yeah. yeah? So just to finish then, when I say add more detail and examples well, and be more reflective, what does that mean? What does that look like? What are you going to do differently in your evaluations? Um, more quantity in my... Um, quantity and quality in my um, evaluations. Okay, uh, so looking at what? what the whys. The whys, good, yeah? Okay, well done.